third period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is at ice level, and Ray, as third period action gets underway, give us a sense of how you've seen things tonight. The Oilers are in this game, and, and maybe it's a little bit of a miracle. I mean, they haven't had many shots on goal, not many chances. That's got to change here in period three. Back to the point it goes. And that goes off course off a body. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it up to Yamamoto. Passes over to Cassian. The Flames gain possession in their own end. Calgary's through center and now in the offensive end. Here's a chance in front. And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. And that's offside stopping the play. Kind of used to contributing offensively. This pointless streak is not something that you usually see from him. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Flames lead this one to zip. Coleman's won the draw. Tanev's got it along the wing. And he puts that one aside with ease. hope has got to be clenching his fist down at his end of the ice. No matter what he does, he can't help his team get some goals. The Flames gain possession along the wall. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers have stolen a bunch of pucks tonight. And I'm telling you, James, in a close game, this easily could be the difference. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. Joe won the draw inside his own end. Into the offensive zone. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Sherratt's lugging the puck. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Gets some wood on it to keep it out. Sends it ahead to Jost. And now it's over to Peltier. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's a chance. Makes the save with the foot. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Sends it across the ice. The Flames take it along the wall. Passes it to Jost. Calgary's got the puck against the half wall. Quick pass to Peltier. show no signs of slowing down in the third. This has been almost the perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And they'll dump it in. He looks deep to town. The Oilers looking against the half wall. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. The Flames played along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it over to Barry. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. Sari's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Holpe. Quick shot. Shuts him down. Archibald's first game back doesn't show any signs of rust, James. I like the way he skated, and there he gets a shot on goal. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Dished on over to Chalola. The Flames played along the wing. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Seattle's in the on-deck circle for the next game for these guys. Now, one aspect that doesn't get talked about, James, is... While you're playing the game today, previously the assistant coaches are already breaking down video. They've got the power play and the penalty kill all queued up for the next game and the game after that. It's an ongoing process. Is that where that buzzword pre-scout comes from now? It does, and it never really ends for the coaches. Markstrom's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Flames have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3-0. 
And now he tries to get it across to Stedlin. Calgary's on the attack. Puck picked up by Coleman. They score! And how many timeouts do you have? Because they need one now. They need one before. And the way this is going, they're going to need one in a few minutes. Well, they can use the most to run the Nielsen to wave that white towel. The Flames have not stopped the firepower display tonight. You impressed down there? It's like they're going downhill the whole game. The, their opponent hasn't been able to keep up at any level tonight. Poked away yet centered by Hyman. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Edmonton's got the puck behind the net. And it was locked in on that save as play continues. They are really chilling. Slick feed. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. The Flames get a hold of the puck. Through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. The Oilers have it from their own end. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. And that's a great hits up play by Hannafin. Dubas carrying it ahead. Slides the puck across to Lindholm. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Picked up along the boards by Hyman. He carries the puck up along the wing. Feeds it on over to Goudreau. Puck scooped up by Tanev. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And that's broken up. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Denies him with the pad. Markstrom's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Calgary's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4 0. Taken by Nurse. Turns it aside with the glove. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Handles the pass from the right side. And now it's grabbed by Peltier. Moves it quickly over to Jost. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. The Oilers played along the boards. Nice poke check. From the back of the cage with the puck. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Calgary's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass to Wagner. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Can't make the connection on the pass. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. And that banks off a stick. Tries to get it to Yamamoto. Puts it on net. Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Markstrom. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Poked away in the neutral zone by Barry. The Flames have the puck in the corner. Here's a short pass to Peltier. As he uses his paddle to swat it away. Takes it into the slot. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid. Only oh, Cole just lies and hits the outside of the post. Calgary's able to lock that one off as it hits the post and stays out. But they've got such a nice big lead. They didn't need it. And there's the final horn. They say behind the feet. 